you know, the movie theater world, uh, you know, those theatrical motion pictures that are out there, they've always taken pride in the fact that they, f you know, for as long as television has existed, they've been offer able to offer something more than what you could get at home. So uh, back when television was still all black and white, the movies had color. Uh, the movies had stereo sound before television had stereo sound. They could offer 3D, they could offer widescreen before television had those things. And now that uh, home television standards are so high and you can get you know, your surround sound and you can get high definition pictures, you can get all this great stuff at home, you know, what are the movies doing to keep up? Well, they're, they are adopting uh, some higher standards. And one of them is uh, what they call 4K. You may have heard of this. So um, just, just to give you a quick teaser for maybe another video I can make later, uh, 4K would be um, double the resolution of high definition television as far as pixel count, double the resolution both uh, you know, horizontally and vertically. So uh, the reason they call it 4K is if you, if you take that measurement of pixels along, uh, along this edge that would be 1920 by 1080 and you just double it, it would be, uh, I'm going to do the math here, 3840 by 2160. Now that means you're actually getting, it's not just doubled uh, in one direction, it's doubled in two directions. So if you were to overlay uh, a regular high definition image into one of these 4K uh, screens, then you could actually get you know, four times the amount of pixels because you know it's double in two directions and two times two is four. So it's a much higher resolution picture. And so when you're blowing that up to movie theater size screens, um, you know, that's gonna be impressive. And it's gonna start to make it look as good uh, perhaps as 70 millimeter movies, which was uh, a format that, that had some really high quality uh, you know, images associated with it in, in film. But, um, you know, it wasn't as common as 35 millimeter film. So when you get to 4K, that's cool. And so far, theaters are starting to offer 4K. It's not really available in a home uh, video format yet. But then again, it's such a high resolution that I don't know that you would even really be able to appreciate it uh, at home unless you had a movie theater size screen. And you might be thinking, well, if there's such a thing as 4K, is there such a thing as 8K? And indeed... There is. So that would be <laughs> instead of a 1920, uh, you know, pixel count across the bottom, it would be 7,680, which is close enough to 8,000 that they call it 8K. And then the other resolution would be 4,320. So <laughs> now we're talking four times as much uh, pixel information as regular high definition television, four times this way and four times this way. And that means you would have 16 times the number of uh, pixels as with just regular high definition television. And so I have actually seen demonstrations of this uh, 8K technology at trade shows and it's, it's pretty impressive stuff. I will look forward to seeing uh, shows that are shot that way. But so far, the only thing we've got that's, uh, that's uh, kind of a high profile thing coming up, uh, and coming very soon actually, is The Hobbit. Uh, that, you know, there's three movies being made by the same folks that made the Lord of the Rings movies, and they're shooting these Hobbit movies in 4K, or actually, I think technically it's a 5K camera that they're using, but the, the, but the idea is they're gonna shoot, the, shoot this and present it in theaters in 4K, and 3D, and, hang on, 48 frames per second rather than the standard 24 frames per second that you're used to seeing. So that will be a different viewing experience. And some people, because of the high frame rate, thinks it lo they, they think that it looks too much like a soap opera. The, the you know, the, the movement is too smooth. And, uh, and it just doesn't have that flicker effect you're used to in films. And so it's a little bit controversial. We'll see. It's not going to be as, uh, you know, all over the place that you're going to have this ability to watch the new Hobbit movie at 48 frames per second. But if you do get the chance, uh, you might want to go check it out and, you know, see. Maybe you won't like it. 
but at least see what that's all about. 3D, 4K, 48 frames per second. That's an awful lot of data, uh, you know, thrown up on that screen. Uh, maybe you'll like the way it looks. Apparently the guy who, who made the movie, uh, Peter Jackson, liked the way that it looks. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll let you go. And I'll make another video uh, one of these days, and, uh, and, and we'll have more to say about all this stuff.